Hey guys, my name is Sidiak and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO. Where guys, last episode we did some big improvements to the point where money coming in thick and fast. We've uh, expanded our security area which now enables us to get more people funneled through. The kind of uh, checking area is not amazing just yet but hopefully we can revitalize that and make it a lot more prettier nicer get more efficient but we're going to try and expand right now today we're trying to focus on making as much money as we can putting all the fundamentals in place that do generate us revenue because i start i basically need to start saving right now to be able to go on to create a much larger bigger better version of airport in the future now before we jump into it guys if you are enjoying it right now smash that like button down below if you are new in here make sure you do subscribe so you are notified when that next episode does come out now, we got a couple of issues that we do need to rectify from last episode. One of them was, yo, I'm thinking, yo, what's going on? I've built all these new baggage areas and they're not since, or don't seem to be working. Apparently, I got to turn it back on. I'm so dumb. But also, that doesn't solve it either way. Uh, we can't get people over here. <laughs> we don't have a door to get in the building right now for this baggage area. So I'm going to set one up. Now, what I'll do is I'll put the, uh, is that a door? Yeah. I can put a nice little door here, which kind of wouldn't be a problem, because they can kind of come this way, but it's still a little bit long-winded. Uh, so what I might do is, is there such thing as like an employee door? We have elevators, vending machines, trash cans, windows. I don't think we have such things as like a, a staff door, do we? But what I can do is, it's a secure area. Would I want people to go through that? I mean, we've got the door there for these guys anyway to go up to there, so it kind of works. I was going to say, do I pull it over here? But I don't know if that is the way I kind of want to go forward with it. Hmm. No. We'll leave it like that for now. We'll kind of see what this kind of brings from it. Now, because of this issue, we've got these guys over here a little bit concerned and can't quite get to where they need to get to. So I'm hoping that kind of quickly solves it and figures it all out. There's a dude now running all the way up to place that door in. And I'm hoping that's all that's needed for them to access the room. So, is that enough? Are they going to move? The doors are opening. Are you guys okay? I've literally created the door in the same kind of position, like, like system set up. Oh, wait, there's a baggage vehicle going all the way over here. Oh, but it can't unload because they can't get to it. Are they... No, they're not stuck in my door because there's one hanging out. I'm wondering if I build a door here then but then again they would have to go through wait 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 oh no no they, they've just moved wait they just moved and i put the door here so i take it they're gonna walk all the way around right now yes they're coming down yeah they go through that door in they come right we're back up and running boys we're, we're finally back up and running <laughs> wow that took how long Saniac? but yeah We've got a lot of people waiting waiting in the baggage reclaim area. That's because, you know, of how long it's taken for these bags to get unloaded. Which, now we've got this, we'll start to see all the other issues that come from within the airport. That's good, though. I'm kind of impressed with how it's all come along. So, we can then start thinking about then how we can do some more expansions. Now, issues that we've kind of got. These guys are not meeting their sales quota. The cafe is. The little store over here seems to be as well. I might get rid of this store. So that is the only store available at the moment. So if I was to do that, if I review the contract, cancel the contract. I'm so sorry, guys. If I delete the room. Wait, did I cancel the contract? Yes, I want to cancel the active contract. Can I not do it? What's going on? Have we got to do it when they're open or something like that? I don't truly know. But uh, i got issues all over the place right now, don't I? With staff not able to get into certain doors. But uh, I just got to double check. Um, are we working on both sides perfectly fine? Because these guys are now can do baggage. The smaller aircraft. Perfectly well. Now apparently your boy Statwright told me. Yo Seniac. You've got rid of the wrong fuel. We have over here. This is the Avgas. Now these guys require. Did it tell us what they require? I'm not too sure. But uh, I've got down here the... Duh, 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 duh. Where's it gone? Now, this is the Jet A1 fuel. 
Now, I think he told me that this is only for general aviation. Do these guys not... What fuel are you taking? Jet A1 fuel, yes. So I do need, like, another jet place close by. So what I'll do is I'll delete that there, place a, a jet A fuel over there so we've got one both sides, make it a lot easier for the fuel trucks to get back and forth, which would be quite handy. And then we're going to slowly start to build a few more smaller stands... Um, I don't know whether to go medium down here or, or maybe get one or two large just for the sake of getting more people in the airport. I don't know just yet, but we'll see. So, aircraft infrastructure. Fuel depot. Um, we'll place you just... We'll put it right next to it so I've got a little bit more space. There we go. So, at least the fuel trucks haven't got to drive a million miles to get back and forward. There's one on basically both sides of the airport right now. Right, interesting. I think things are now ticking along just fine, right? Are we, are we back up and running? I'm hoping we kind of back up and running. So, R&D projects, and we recently did the tilt tray. Um, we need to start doing stuff like this, like the air ca um, aircraft cabin cleaning the, and the catering service. It's another way for us to generate revenue within the actual airport. So we'll get the cabin crew cleaning first researched and increase that to five. I'm not too worried about the tutorial right now because they know I, they want me to do remote stands. I'll get onto that at some point. Um, but I'm not feeling, to be honest with you, the whole checking progress here. What if I was to kind of start building a second floor? You see where I'm going with this? Now, if I was to build a second floor, how would I do it? What would be my approach? Now, I could keep... Because basically, I need to get them checked in. I could keep, for example, the baggage... Uh, when they check in, if I kind of built this all the way across, a bit more further up, and have the security on the second floor... Because if I, I'm sure if I build the large aircraft stands, they will eventually. I don't think I can build them just yet, right? No, they want to have them on the second floor, right? Is that how it works? I'm not too sure. Right? Can I review this contract and cancel it? Are you sure you want to cancel it? Yes, I do. But it won't delete it. I can't remove the room with an active contract. Right, if I delete everything inside the room, then it will be forced to cancel the contract by default, right? That's kind of what I'm hoping. That's kind of what I'm hoping is going to happen. So, yeah. Once that's gone, I can get rid of this toilet, because obviously then we're using these two over here. I can extend the office to a larger space. I can get rid of these little check-in desks here, because we'll no longer need them. And if I move the security to a floor up, it means I can then have more of these going down here. Um, and just we got more wider and open space just to kind of fine-tune the whole area. Now, it does mean they've got to go up a floor to go down a floor. I don't know how I feel about that. But if I do have to start building on top of here for, like, another area, then it's not too bad, I assume. Now, who's who's got issues now? Who are you? You are a... Uh, Employee, what? Well, okay, you've gone. Do I even know what employee you was, and where was you heading to? Security. Oh, I, ooh, I actually have another idea. What if I? Now, bear with me a second. Let's say I deleted this here, had like a separate checkpoint just for staff only, so they haven't got to queue up with all the passengers to get through this security. That could be interesting. Um, I think I'll go for, like, the smaller security. So, that there. So, it's, it's a 3x3, three three, basically. So, if I do a 3x3... Three three, actually, we'll bring it down to here. That'll be fine. So, that would go here. If I then built the... Da, 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 wall down to there to close that area off. That's interesting, isn't it? I never thought about doing it like that. Right, we'll get the... Uh, the flooring. And we'll basically turn this into a uh, staff only that use it. So no passengers. I don't know if I've got enough security guards. So that will kind of bypass a lot of this and give us like a separate, closer version to get staff to where they need to get to. So you can, you can, they can go for both sides. It depends on whatever's the quicker route for them, right? And you've already seen a couple of our staff members heading through it just there. There we go. That was the hard little janitor heading through right there. 
that's kind of handy. That actually is pretty handy, isn't it? So, shall we think about then getting a couple of small additional stands then? Now, if I was to do this, small stands, um, dun -dun 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 -dun. where is it? Aircraft stand, small. I've got to delete the road structure. So, if I take it from there, I know they're one, two, they're five tiles along. So, this might be a little bit of a pain for us. Um, so, from there, five tiles. So, now if I go by, so every five, so that is ten. Wait, hold on, what? Oh, yeah. Um, right, I'm so confused with how this is figuring this out. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's three more, basically three more small stands I can just squeeze in. It's not a lot, but it's trying to progress and get more customers down here to utilize this store a bit more because we, they're going to cancel with what's going down. Now, I'm going to wait for these guys to actually cancel the contract themselves because they don't seem to want to cancel it. I can't cancel it at all. We've completed the cabin cleaning process too. So we'll quickly now get in some stands. So the airport's not really that efficient, but again, I've got to try and make as much money as I can to uh, make it worth my while. So da -da 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 -da, I need taxiway foundation. That's all I need. Throw that all in. So I won't worry about the getting it all connected because I might do something a little bit different over here to begin with. Now, if we've got the uh, the cleaning all set up, right, we'll start a new project with the catering service as well. So get that done. So I can do then the cleaning service here, but I've got to build the building for it. And that would be aircraft infrastructure, the waste depot for cabin cleaning trucks to unload, yes, unload and offload waste basically. Now, this can pretty much go anywhere. It could actually even go outside of the airport. And then just have to drive through a security checkpoint every time. Just because I don't have the room inside to do... Oh, well, I, I say that. I could have the room. But I, I don't know what I'm going to build over on this side yet. So, I'll leave... Yeah, I'll build it out to here. I can move the fence eventually. So, it is a service road that does need to be connected. Let me see what happens with this, if I can connect a service road to a normal road. Because even I don't know right now. Right, service road. Bam. I think I've got to create a, uh, a little back and forth here, don't I? I should have went straight into there. I don't know why I did it like this. Do you know what? I can't do it the way I was, I'm was. i thinking I, I've got to do it. Let me uh, delete all this. And we'll also delete the fence to there. And I'll, I'll just pump it in that way. It's not the. It's not going to be in the best position. I'll be completely honest with you. It's not going to be in the best position right now. I mean, I can literally just pull it like. Oh, it's a tough one, isn't it? It's going to have to go like somewhere like here. Because I, I could do it like here. But I don't want to lose too much of the space in for the road. Right, I'm going to drop it there for a quick second. Uh, service road. I'll go away from delete all the fence. So that can go straight into there. That's perfectly fine. All right, come up here. So I'm going to do it like that. Have a little kind of loop in a sense and for the fencing if I just finish all this off this fencing all right, bring it back down to here I'll take it down to the back side and I'll expand if I need to expand for now we'll just keep it like that we'll just keep it like that boys um, I know it's all mishmashed and squashed together but there's not really much I can do so I won't get them connected just yet oh I forgot that we're doing all that it does take some time doesn't it so I won't focus on that, that too much just now. We've got 650,000 currently in the bank. Which is good to see. 
Right, things seem to be running smoothly. They still haven't cancelled on me just yet. These will definitely cancel on me. But I can redo uh, another contract anyway. So for this then, I need... Da, 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 da. So... I need some cleaning trucks. So purchase vehicles. And it's going to be on the... Aircraft side. The cleaning truck. Okay, maybe it's nothing to do with that. Cleaning truck. Aha! So we'll hire... I'll buy five. I'll order five. How many can it hold? Well, I don't really know, to be honest with you. But I've purchased five of the trucks. So once they arrive, I would then should be able to enable aircraft cleaning. Now, before I do that, in my fees... Um, aircraft cleaning. So we're going to be... We can charge $2.5. Now, I'm up in the price to 3.5 just for the sake of... You know, getting a little bit extra money. So I should now be able to, in operations, enable the aircraft cleaning. So aircraft can request to be cleaned. I earn extra revenue from that flight. And then there's more money in my bank account. It's a win-win, boys. It's a win-win. Now, I want to apply the same logic then to... Oh, I didn't get these enabled. Uh, to the catering. Once I've got the catering in, we'll then try and focus on... Trying to make more space down here by moving the security up a floor. So they've got to go up a floor, through security, then down a floor. But also enable us to build that second floor if I do start doing large aircraft that require the upper floor. I, if I can remember correctly, they do. But you never know. I could be completely wrong. I could be completely wrong. Now, if I'm to do this, I'm going to have to get my um, foundations underway. So, if I started from, I mean, this corner here, and then just pushed up to there. We'll try and do it in a little bit of a stage system right now. So, to there, and, I mean, the security could be quite big, but I'm trying to figure out where you would allow the staircase to come up and down. That's what i got to try and think of right now. So it'll be nice to kind of funnel them in this access section here. So you can kind of have... Oh, that's a good point. So if I cancel this... I mean, can I, can I cancel foundations being built? Um, yeah, I think, that, I think that this is going to work. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And... I will... Terminal foundations from here and if I pushed it all the way across now we'll take it to about there actually I'll build it to here and we'll go as far as there that's roughly the building above the check-in area and the security area how that's going to play out I don't know We'll soon find out. Also, I've noticed, right, it always seems to be, like, fall or autumn. Is there a way in which we can change that? Um, disable elevator users. I don't know. Graphics. No, I don't know. But I, I can't remember last time I seen snow or grass, to be honest with you. I can't remember. So, are we seeing any cleaning trucks coming out right now? Have any of them requested a cleaning service? Uh, I believe these guys have. Are these the cleaning trucks right now coming in? No. Where's those cleaning trucks, boys? We are yet to see any any of them come in and out. Oh, apparently it has been cleaned. Did I miss it? Are you the cleaning truck? Yes, cabin crew cleaning. So where are you heading to? You're heading to where? Here? Do we make many dollars? 
uh, 18 a pop and it just keeps crawling not many but it will soon add up it will soon add up so okay we're still working on upstairs at the moment fine how far we got with this that is now done is there anything that I'll probably do for now? I'll probably leave it for now, but I can now do the catering service. So the catering service, how big... Oh my god, this is also a big building. So that kind of needs to go here. Which is kind of crazy how I can just literally... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, we can, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that is a normal star road at the back. So, what is this? This is the service road. I need to kind of cover it to there. I need then just the normal road to which they can come out here. And I'll leave it as that, right? Anything else right now, we just have to kind of save it for the uh, the bigger airport we're eventually going to create. The amount of sales and rent revenue I've created from, well, got from that, that kind of cafe right now is ridiculous. So, get all this built up. I'm going to have to get all the vehicles too, don't I? So, purchase vehicles. I need, actually, operations for the catering service. I need a supplier, but I also need catering trucks. So, catering trucks. Oh, right here. We'll get five of those, you reckon? We'll get five of those for now. The game will soon tell us if I need more than what I've currently got. But I also need to um, get... Oh, what's this? Set the temperature meals are prepped. Oh, yeah, I forgot we have to, like, kind of create the meals before you distribute them. But I do need to hire... Or get a contract for... Um, the catering side of things. So filter it by catering food suppliers. Oh, nobody offered me a contract yet? Oh, no, 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 sorry. Wrong one. <laughs> Um, okay. So, these will offer me, per delivery, $87 a pop. Oh, that's a good one. 20, $29. It's a free star. I'll sign to you. Because I can charge... Oh, well, yeah, let me do my fees on um, catering meals so they're charging me 29 cents and I'm popping out seven dollars a meal that is extortionate prices boys that is extortionate prices right now but the, the deliveries are coming in deliveries are coming in right now which uh, we can store up to 10,000 I believe which we then create the meals which will then get loaded up on the trucks on the inside and then delivered to the planes. So again, another way to generate revenue. These are good money-making tactics right now. So we just gotta wait for uh, a plane to accept it so we can see like, you know, how valuable the money-making skills are. But this should, again, progressively keep us going. Now, did they build up here? Almost. We'll just add in the finishing touches right now. So we'll get the walls done to there. I've got, I mean, it's, I know it's a funky shape for a room. But it, delete them and them and them. And then we got to figure out how we want to do it. So, how many uh, escalators? Do we do escalators? Yeah, I think we should do escalators because it'll be quicker. Now, that pretty much fits the whole width of this. How do I, you can't choose whether it goes up or down, can you? So it must be placed where, sorry? It must be placed underneath a terminal. Is this not underneath a terminal? Oh, it can't cross different zones. That's right. So this has to be a secure area. My bad. Actually, we'll scrap that one for now. So, this is going to kind of mess us up slightly. So, if I do escalator... Aha, there we go. Escalator. 
And obviously, of course, I've got to do it to a point where they're able to go up and down. So if I drop that one there, now I know it's going to cause me lots of issues. So what I'll do is I'll delete just there that bit of wall. So they can kind of just quickly cut through and walk that way. <clears throat> just make things a little bit easier. I know it's, it's throwing the whole airport out of place right now. Now, you, you can't make this go in one direction, can you? It's all or nothing. Yeah. And I might have multiple of these going across. That leads out. That's a shame, really. You can't make it go like a double down. <clears throat> But I could add in some stairs. I could do an elevator as well. So it's really just to kind of pinpoint the entry points. So then if I... Oh, this is a point as well. If I delete that chair... <clears throat> if I delete that chair... How much space do I get up here, by the way? I'm just trying to figure this out. Delete that chair. And if I was to build the escalator here, which I can't do again because it's going to be a secure zone. Come on, Senia. Alright, just do it like that real quick. And if I got this in line... Which way is which? I assume this is this way. So going across to there. Boom. Boom. So that will be my up and down. We'll fine-tune it to make it all fit in perfectly, don't worry. And then it's designing a method and a system for all the security on this side. Is there such things in the R&D as a larger security? So baggage, security tier 2. Bag yeah, baggage, security tier 3. Okay, okay, we'll scrap that for now. Because it only just get more intense. And then we've got to figure out <clears throat> how we're doing this. So I could do it where they all face inwards. So I could definitely go for one. Hang on, if I did it there, one, two, three, four. And then flip it around where there's then one, two, Three and then do a couple this way. But to be able to do that, you've got to then manage the entries here. So if I was to cancel, is that I just want to oh, I just want to dezone, let's say to there. Now, if I pause. Because I, I still I don't know how I'm figuring this out. So if I started here, one, two, three, four. So it walks down to there. Then if I flip this around and went, because I know we're not we can only do three here. I could kind of keep a walkway open. Like there, one, two. Oh no, okay, it doesn't work like that. Um, let's try that again. So if that was there, then you need an, another free. Yeah, okay. Okay, I think I've got it. So if I left a, a free wide gap there, one, two, three. It leaves a too wide gap there. Does that work out? Does it though? So if I have a two gap there, so that's got to then go to there, which aligns perfectly with this. So yes, it can work. It normally can work. So we've got to delete that there, meaning this security area can be deleted too. 
Oh my god, who would have thought this is such mind-boggling stuff? So down below I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've got the exact same I've got down below, but I'm potentially now adding in a couple more. So if I go one, two, three. So I've got ten all in total. Now I'll tell you why I've done it exactly like this. There's room to add more in, but here I could potentially put in more checking desks for planes up here. Like you've got the larger aircraft, you can have like a designated section solely for it, which would be kind of handy as well. It's a little bit all over the place. I'm very, very, very aware. But now it's a case of just trying to maximize the little bit of dead space that I do have to be able to try and implement as much as I can. So if we get them to build that, this will be a good start. I can then get rid of the security down below and then turn this into a more of a, a check-in area. Get rid of these, get rid of these three here and then push them down this way as well. I might even move all of these to over here, but it then does mean then redoing the baggage underneath, which is not an issue. We've done it before in the past, but it can be a little bit of a problem. So once I've got that sorted, I can then get these connected and also think about getting some more medium set up. Now we don't have, where's the stands? R and D, a large aircraft permit. It would, ah, oh, that's the problem. It would then require a large runway. So I think no is the answer for now, right? No is the answer for now. So if I delete the road, so we can extend the infrastructure a bit more. So these costs are 75,000 a pop, by the way. So that is, it's hard to work it out, but that's going to go to there. So that will be there. That would be there. So we'll do one, bam, bam. How much is too many? I think four's fine, right? An additional four would be fine. <laughs> oh, no, I say four. Right, because we're going to have a fifth, aren't we? An extra five. Okay, I think five, and I've pushed the boundaries. Five, and I've pushed the boundaries. Um, we'll go ahead and... Oh, it's 50,000. How much is the whole of this? Insufficient funds. Oh, yeah, because I'm running out of money. Right, we'll just do it like that for now. Uh, service road. How expensive is this? Okay, not too expensive. Just get it going all the way around. So it does become quite long-winded right now to drive all the way around. But I've got the layouts of where we're expanding. I'm going to really, really, really make my guys overwork. Well, I've kind of messed up with the checkpoint, but i got to wait for that road to be fully built. So we're kind of on it. Oh, the security is actually coming together slowly as well. So we'll sort the queue system out, which is not going to be perfect. So build a queue. Um, I don't know what I've built here, but hey-ho. I don't know what's going on with that, but hopefully it works. <laughs> um, this is what you get right now for now just kind of winging it. And then this one. There we go. I think what I'm doing here is a little bit better. But it doesn't matter, because they'll, they'll walk to where they need to get to anyway. So it's not the end of the world. I, it's it's like a jigsaw puzzle. It's, uh, I'm not happy with these, but like I said, it should still do exactly what they need to be done. So that side's okay. We'll just quickly create a couple just for here. I'm going to do small because I can save a little bit of space then as well. 
There we go. Do this one next. Now, I know I've got to create high more security, but technically I don't. I can just then start to delete all of this. Because they'll instantly then move up to the floor above. But I know... There we go, just like that. I know I might need to hire some more in general anyway, because I've got an additional three more security checkpoints than what we had before. My only concern would be, is the escalators going up adequate enough or do i need to build some some elevators so i don't know just yet i don't know but now all that's gone it's funneling everybody up there anyway so that's all good so we'll now get all this sorted so that can now be closed up to there we'll build the wall across to here and we'll build a wall around here we'll then get rid of the walls that oh no wrong button we'll get rid of the walls that i don't want there to there and now we've got an area that which we can pretty much work with so we just gotta then unsecure this section and that section there so definitely more security guards because we've got more uh, checkpoints now. So applicants sorted by security officers. There we go. That will be a big help. So my capacity is definitely increased. My capacity for security is definitely increased. It's not the best security. I'm well aware of this. I'm just trying to make, make good on a bad situation. So they're not all connected. We're still working on getting all this set up. So we've still got issues with our vehicles because they can't go all the way around. So not all the aircrafts are getting their maximum um, services. And again, then I'm not making maximum money either way. Takes a while though, doesn't it? it does take a sweet, sweet time. So they've pretty much built all the uh, the terminal section here that we've got. I've got to fill that all in. It's going to be so expensive. But it takes so long to build all this stuff. <clears throat> So this is the downside to having such a large building. Maybe we should have had like a, a slight little break in the building. But it would then require building an overpass of some sort. Or an underpass. Are these uh, called it a day? They've called it a day. Have these called it a day? Apparently we're meeting sales targets. Is that gone? Oh, it's gone. I can finally delete the room. Right, let's put someone more reasonable in here. So, these were the guys last time. Uh, let's co-op. Hang on, I keep clicking on them. I don't want to click on them. 32%, 30%, 16. You know, we'll go co-op. Because that's an actual British chain. <laughs> That'd be kind of interesting to get these guys in. Sign them, and hopefully then we'll do pretty good with them. So, all this... I'm going to wait for them to build the rest of this road. So, my workmen are, like, are focusing on this to begin with. And then we're going to move all of our baggage... Well, I say move it all. We're going to start adding some new baggage areas down here. And going up to the side as well. Uh, just so we can slowly start moving some of this. Because it's too cramped around here as well. So we've got to try and ease the burden a little bit. And plus, as we're adding in more stands, we're going to need more capacities in general anyway. So it's all happening now, boys. So the road's all done. It's not perfect, but it's all done. Right, once they figure out what's going down and they all move, then we're Gucci. <laughs> Everyone, everyone's all crisscrossing the wrong lanes because there was one section unbuilt. Right, there we go. They've sorted themselves out. So hopefully we can get back on track. I know it's such a long-winded way they've got to drive. Ooh, actually, just to kind of ease that burden a bit more, we'll do a service tunnel down. If I did one down, let's say I did it here. Is that down? Which one's that? Uh, down. So that goes down. And then the service road, just cover it there. 
because that will be underground here. And I bring this to here. So if I had this there, service road just there, this enables us to have a quick, like a quick little kind of underpass, so they don't have to always drive around like they're doing right now. There's a quick little underpass to kind of get there, makes things a whole lot easier. See, smart boys, smart right now. So right, let's get this sorted then. Because this is going to take a while right now. So, uh, desks. We need the duh, 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 check in desk. These ones, right? Yeah. And it's got to go from this side. So, we'll leave it by a. I mean, actually, we'll come down this way to begin with. So, if I do it by a. Give a two gap to the back. Nah, do you know what? It don't matter. We'll do it this way. So we'll do a... Is it a two gap? I mean, that works out perfectly well. But I might do something visually exciting. So if I pause the game. One, two, three, four, five, six actually fits in quite perfect. Then I could do... Ooh, we could go back on ourselves here. So if I went and left a two gap to that back wall. One, two. Where is it here? One, two. Left an entryway gap. How many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Forget them. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So at the minute, two more. So two more at the minute. And what will be the better option here? So if I... Let me first get that wall. Kind of bring it across like that. Just to kind of close us off a little bit. Loads of space for maneuverability. I can easily get one there. But there, one there. So they'll be like pretty much touching, wouldn't they? So double little check in here. I can do a nice little check in. Just there, right? And I can then build a wall here. So it all kind of feels enclosed. It fits in quite nice. It's a bit squiff. But I've got 13 of them in total, which is... So many more than what we've got right now, which is amazing. I do have to do something with the baggage side of it, which means it's going to kind of go a bit funky with all of this. But that is the baggage coming to the area. So really, I've just got to get it connected to, like, say, this. I've just got to reroute this situation. So if I just kind of make it go around... So this baggage is going to be real fun right now. Right, high speed baggage. I'm going to make it go around the area. So bringing that up to there. And that will then go this way. So going around that edge there is all down here. So it won't interact with all of this. Once I can redirect this going around the long way then we're okay. We'll just funnel it all into this system and then go from there. Right. So where does that run through? All right, it's going to run directly through one of these, so I don't want to mess around too much. But this is kind of cool though, isn't it? As we're now working with multiple layers, this really bulks up the capacity. So, the big surprise will be, once I've got all these additional gates set up, how much more revenue we actually then do make. All right, they're almost good to go. So, we'll plan now the cutoff. And then with the baggage, 
high speed going that way. I can actually get that connected like that and then just delete all of this then. And then the baggage is back up and running. That there I'm hoping hasn't gone a bit funky. No, all good. So we're back up and running with all of that. So I can now focus on getting all these guys sorted. So we need to initially do uh, the baggage things going down. Yeah, I was going to do something really cool, but I don't think I'm going to just because it will just look a little bit all over the place. I right, get all of them in there. We'll connect them down below. All right, get all those built. I'm not sure how them two together is going to react. But going down the floor. Oh. It goes through this little section. Okay, didn't quite think about that. So we're going to have to now redirect the... Oh, that's a point. Oh, no, that only goes to here. Yeah, it's only this, this side I've got to redirect. All right, if I brought this down to here... And then deleted this. I'm surprised I didn't actually kind of have any of these merge in with this line. It's amazing how we managed to avoid it all. But that will solve all of that. That visually annoys me, but it's not. it still works, so it's fine. So all of this, we've got to get it connected to the baggage over here. Pretty much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally delete all of this. Now, it's going to kill off my baggage. I understand that. We're going to delete all of that. We're going to delete that to here. That to here. So I'm going to replace it for the high-speed stuff. So high-speed right now. So all of this... Need, okay, we'll get it to funnel going up that way. So everything down here... This way, this way, so bam, 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 bam. So I've broken the airport for like the next 10 minutes. Here's what I've done. So leading that up. Right. It's going to go slow into that little section there, but that's okay. High speed, high speed. Insufficient, insufficient funds. Yo, this is expensive. I forgot how expensive this was going to be. Yikes. Can some planes land, please? I'm spending money like I ain't got it. I ain't got it, and that's the bad thing. So, that's got to go all the way over here in this direction, which I don't have the pennies. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. Bam, bam. He's out of cash. Oh, I'm in minus. For the first time in a long time, your boy's in minus. Yikes. Can we get out of minus, please, guys? How's the building work going, anyway? So, not enough yet for the baggage to go to the claim area, so everyone's going to be hanging around waiting at this moment in time. Right, hopefully that's fine. I feel like I need to get a, a slight little loan. I can pay the loans back very, very quickly. So I'll just take a really, really basic loan just to get this conveyor system all built. Right there. Bam, 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 bam. I might redo that one side just so I can have it all stick out. Because I'm not a fan of this. So we'll come back to that in just a second. There we go. 
And those systems should be ready to rock and roll. So everything, I'm just double checking it right now. Everything should be good to go. I know there's a few areas where it slows down and whatnot, but I am not too bothered about that. So that's all good. I've just now got to switch over these to these. So how do we do this again? So connect to baggage, baggage bay, you to there. Hang on, you to there. So get all these connected to this baggage bay. Bam. So this should be connected to each one of these, which it is. We will then... So which one of these is it connected to? Them ones here. So I'll then delete... Okay, can't do anything when it's active. <laughs> Try again. Mark for deletion. So if one, two, three, four, five, six. So two, four, six. How many got these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So six, seven. I could do seven, eight, nine, and then save these four. For all of them. Am I sure about that? Well, no, because I might have a few more down here. No, because not all planes land at the same time. So I'll connect to there. There. And then we'll save these. Four over here. If I need more check-ins, I've got so much room up here to kind of utilize it. Oh, wrong button. So that is now connected to all of them. That is now connected to all of these. It's now just a case of deleting where I can delete. And moving everything over to that one side. So there's one last flight there ready to go. So now, they're starting to use this, so it's working. Everyone's almost being served on this side. So it's now marked for deletion. I'll get rid of them chairs there, get rid of them chairs here. Alright, there's an active procedure on the go still. Apparently it's still going. Now, someone said that I gotta accept these because you get extra money. But, um. Oh, wait, no, no. Emergency incident. Uh, is it this one? Uh, scheduled departure, discovery equipment failure, demon aircraft has a uh, flight has been cancelled and aircraft will require maintenance at a hangar. Now we have a hangar. So how do I What do I do? Will they take it over here? Okay, I've got it on any. Okay, it's been fixed. Nice. Great stuff. That's the first time that's happened to me, so I wasn't really quite sure what to make of it. So I still can't do anything right now because it's still an active procedure. But this is all good to go. Now, I know I would have messed up a lot of issues. <clears throat> and a lot of passengers all over the place. I know I've got to do all the queue stuff as well. I get that. Um, but I've also... Got more room here to it. I could technically extend this further down or build some down this way if I wanted to add in more checking desks, but we'll see how things go in the long run. Still an active procedure? What's going on? Well, I'm closing it. Can I not close it? Damn fools. Damn fools. So with the money coming back in right now, how expensive is it going to be to build all of this? 
So I can go as far as here. Okay. Oh, I've rotated. Very expensive. So why don't we just get this set up instead? So desks, we need the boarding desk. I'm going to go for the small ones right now. So we've been doing this just over to the side of it. So on that, over by one. So one there, one there, one there. So at least we can get these three now all set up. So I've got to do the taxiway line as well. There we go. It needs to be switched from commercial. There we go. Connect the stand, which is you. Connect the stand, which is you. Connect the stand, which is you. And that's it. That's technically it. I mean, I can got to connect the baggage bay, which will be you. You. Oh, I maybe clicked on that one. And you. And then la di da. Three additional stands. So we'll get to those when we can afford to build the rest of the terminal. We need to sort out the queue systems, don't we? So if I do it like this. Like that. And then replicate the same on this side so we went I mean I don't know where we went with this so bend round up by one and they kind of meet at the same point interesting interesting let's see if I can replicate that Yeah. Oh, that's fairly easy to do. Okay. Right, we've got it. So I've got to get it done. Otherwise, we will have issues in the long run. And some of it is not long enough for, you know, the amount of passions that we will eventually see. But it's just to slowly get some organization as they do start to walk in. That's pretty much all it is. It's going to be built, uh, bulked up and kind of going crazy anyway. But this is the space I have to hand. I can't push it any further. Or you're just cramping everything. You will be just cramping everything at this point. So baggage, bam, bam, bam. And we'll do these sides real quick. Pressing all the wrong buttons again. Yeah, done that right. So to, to be honest with you, these ones I might push a little bit, bit further back. Just because we can. Just because we slightly can, we'll kind of bulk them back a bit. We'll save those for another time. But look how much more space I've now got. Security is able to uphold it. Check-in is able to uphold it right now. I've got so much more space around here. I could, to, to be honest with you, for now, what I'll do is I'll just place a couple of rows of chairs. Just so people can sit on the chairs while they're waiting. Until we figure out what we want to do with this area. Because we might need to extend the check-in desks for, you know, for a little bit. But at least they can be sitting down and waiting. So in the come. It's not perfect. I know that, I know we've kind of created like a, a cul-de-sac. They've got to come in to go back out. I get that. I'm very, very well aware of this. But um, it's not going to hurt them, basically. We've already got flights coming hot and heavy right now. Already got flights coming. Oh, damn. 
I didn't get this connected. It's the wrong way round. How long has that been screaming at me in the face right now? Um, service roads, tunnels. So that should have went this way round. I'm dumb. You are so dumb. For real. But that'll make everything run a bit more efficiently and smoothly. Let's go wait for somebody to delete it. There we go. Build you. And that road should be good to go. So it doesn't even mean I can now eventually move this toilet or delete it and um, they can utilize the these ones. Then this little space around here somewhere I might build, like here, additional uh, couple of toilets as well to kind of handle the situation. So, and we have room upstairs to expand the security if needs be again. So I can claim a little bit of this to create the corridor coming down this way. So it's all there ready to go. i got rooms to slightly expand the beginning of this airport if these once you get these connected it becomes a little bit overwhelming uh which i feel like we are going to need to expand it but you just never know we'll see what as time does as time goes on that little road is becoming quite handy as you can see i'm all moving through it which is good to see things are progressing boys things are definitely progressing so this is a good setup then for the money making we've got the cater the catering let me just double check it's all still on baggage system still enabled aircraft oh, we didn't even get the catering enabled by the way uh that's now all enabled so we're earning money from cleaning earning money from the food we got three additional stands about to get additional five medium stands connected and we've kind of upgraded the infrastructure too so this can only be a good thing right making money from the store over here this has made us nearly half a million i got nearly four hundred thousand in the bank i think with that money can i build this oh i fall just short by how much do you know what by quite a bit by quite a bit it changes nine grand with every bit i want to stagger up that surprised me. That really has. So maybe I can't quite afford that just yet. We'll save that for next episode. But a lot we've got done, a lot we still do need to get done. But I'm enjoying it. Lots of things to do. The expansions are definitely real right now, boys. But we've we've made it a bit more efficient. Fine-tuned, get in there. So I think once we've built these medium stands, built this the terminal here, we'll do some walk layers as well so they can get back and forth a whole lot easier. That's when the real grind begins in terms of making the airport make as much money as we can because then we're saving so we can buy these two additional plots of land and then build a really, really, really big airport. It's going to be very, very, very exciting boys so we're gonna end it for here hope you did enjoy it if you did smash that like button down below and until next time guys i'll see you all soon so good, good.